Now let's consider three resistors in parallel connected across a voltage. You can see that in figure 1.13. Note down the figure. Here the total current I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. So the resistors are R1, R2, R3 and their respective currents are I1, I2, I3 and they are connected in parallel. The voltage across the entire circuit is V and the total current is I. Let the resistance of the parallel combination or that is the equivalent resistance be equal to R. Therefore, by Ohm's law, you know that V is equal to IR. Also, V equals I1, R1 because we know that voltage across parallel circuits is equal. Therefore, by substitution you get IR is equal to I1, R1 or arranging accordingly, we can rearrange it to become I divided by I1 is equal to R1 divided by R. You see that current is inversely proportional to the respective resistance. Or I1 is equal to IR whole thing divided by R1. Take this as equation or expression 4. We know that this is for any parallel circuit, the general formula you know that 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. When we solve this for R, we get R is equal to R1 into R2 into R3, the whole thing divided by R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1. That is the denominator is all the pair combinations of the resistances. This is for R. And from equation 4, we can get the individual currents as follows. I1 is equal to I, the whole thing into R2, R3 divided by R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1. Similarly, I2 is equal to I into R3, R1 whole thing divided by R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1. Similarly, I3 is equal to I into R1, R2 whole thing divided by R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1. You can notice that there's a common thing in all these formulas. When calculating I1 in the numerator, we have the product of the other two resistances, not the resistance which has the current I1. The same thing for I2 and I3. So that's an easy way for you to remember this formula for the applications to follow. Note down all these three formulas and note down the formula for R as well because this is a special case when there are three resistors in parallel. Since we've learnt a few basics of the parallel circuits and the currents, let's go to a problem. Problem 1.5. Find the supply current to the circuit shown in figure 1.14. Here is figure 1.14. You can note this down. The current is shown, that is the total current is shown to be I. The total voltage is V. And the currents across resistances R1 and R2 are respectively I1 and I2. R1 is given as 20 ohm and R2 is 40 ohm. You can see that they are connected in parallel. We can use the formulas we learnt for parallel circuits. And we know that currents get added. So to find out the supply current, that is the total current, we need to find out the individual currents as well. We know that I1 is equal to V divided by R1. This is Ohm's law and we know that the voltage is same across a parallel circuit. So I1 becomes a 100 divided by 20 which gives you 5 amps and I2 similarly is V divided by R2 which is 100 divided by 40 and that gives you 2.5 amps. Therefore, I that is the total current is equal to I1 plus I2, the sum of the currents, which gives you 5 plus 2.5 is equal to 7.5 amperes and this is your answer. We'll look at some more problems and more concepts and more stuff in the next sessions to come.